You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of Fueled by Insanity. And as always, I've got Zerashro with me. Yeah, hiya. Yep, and he's here. I'm here. We're ready to do this. We're ready to show you both endings. So let's get right into it. No, keep overrating the same. No, okay. There don't we go. overrate. Ah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> All right. I still don't understand why. He needed me. My purpose was to enter dreams, to learn information, and to manipulate people, be it out of fear or through bribery. His job was to distort their memories so we were untraceable. He knew I didn't want that. He knew that if I had the option, I would go my own way the first chance I got. So, I was never given the opportunity. If he needed you so much, why did he leave? Kajiro looks down, unable to answer. You've asked me this many, many times. I still don't have an answer. I never will. Why Maimaru does things the way he does, it's not my job to know. He keeps me around to perform a simple function and nothing more. Kind of like what you're doing to me. Kajiro looks off to the side, avoiding eye contact with me. Sometimes I think he does feel guilty for what he's done, but not enough to change things, to do better. I'll admit, his brother's a terrible person. He exploited Kajiro for his own selfish reasons, and Kajiro never deserved that. Even so, Kajiro made the decision to perpetuate the cycle, to use me and trap me in a scenario which was in which I'm doomed no matter what I do. But that cycle ends with me. No matter how much I want to see this all end, to make the wrong decision at the expense of those I care about, I'll rise above it all. This may be my bad ending, but I refuse to make it anyone else's. What do you say we get away from this portal? I don't plan to ever, ever go through, so there's no use sticking around. Are you sure? I hesitate for a few moments and then give him a hug. No matter how long this takes, even if we last an eternity in here, I refuse to break. No matter what happens to me, I will wait here with you. I will stay here and we will keep each other sane. And so we wait. Oh. Oh, what, what's going on? Okay. Ah, the end. Okay. All right. <laughs> we were very close to it last time, yeah. Okay, all righty. And you said you can't skip the music? No. It lasts three minutes. So initially, I had planned for there to be, like, a pixel art animation here. Uh, I ended up scrapping it because I felt like it kind of, like, didn't fit the mood. But I ended up getting about halfway. It was basically just Jeffrey and Kajori, uh walking around and interacting with each other. Oh, and you decided to scrap that? Yeah. It's just I felt like it wow, didn't it's really loud. fit the pace in that one. Let me, uh, ah, yeah, let me lower the, that. The music volume's <laughs> too high. <laughs> Oh, it's so a sound volume. Wait. Okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, right. I forgot I did that so that it wouldn't be the... I should have had it music. Whoops. Okay. Shouldn't I the... should probably fix that. Shouldn't the credits be playing? Uh, the credits I actually have in a uh, separate file because there's not that many people to credit and I didn't know what to do. Unless I just had my name playing over and over and then occasionally someone else's. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, there's still stuff I want to do with this screen. It's letting me load, kinda... so we can go ahead and load to the other one if you want. Uh, if you want. Okay. Uh, I will say that there is epilogue after this, but it's fine. We can just like uh, edit that in later if you want. Okay. Or did you want to uh, do the... Oh, let's see, this is three minutes? Yeah. Okay, so we're... Te we're all... I guess we're about halfway there now, maybe a little bit more. I I, I can wait. I can wait. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'd say we're almost there. So I do have a question. Um, probably what everyone help or everyone is wondering what what the fuck is Kaijoro exactly? Uh, he is a Kitsune, and he is able to enter dreams. Okay. So like him and his brother Mamaru. So is his world similar to Jeffrey's? It seems to be. Like they have certain similar customs and such. Yeah, there's some things that are the same, some things that are different. Uh, the main thing is, Kajaru had been in Jeffrey's world before, so he knows some stuff. But there's a lot that he doesn't know, and there's like subtle hints throughout the visual novel. Like, 
uh, when the arcade scene, Ted doesn't know anything about it. He had never seen an arcade, but he does learn very fast. Hmm. Yeah, I was just wondering this whole time, like, like, what, what is he? What is his brother? Like, what were these strange abilities the, they have? So it's, uh, it's, it's less sinister than I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's less sinister than I thought it would be. I, I thought it was going to be, like, have, like, some kind of actually real creepy, creepy Lovecraftian twist. Like he's... No, instead, it's just uh, someone who... Dream Stealers! His morals have completely gone. Yeah. Dream Stealers. I mean, that's pretty. It's still pretty cool. I mean, it subverted my expectations. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I you usually, usually don't see stuff like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 20 years have passed since you disappeared. Since that day, I've never stopped searching. Mob would never forgive me if I did. It's been difficult, you know. I keep hoping that one day you'll return. That one day I'll have my big half-bro back. So much time has passed, but I still believe. Please, Colin, if you're out there somewhere, please come home. Just a short thing of a. Oh, was that it? Was that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, that just makes me sad. <laughs> do you do you do you have any plans of doing like a prequel or a follow up? Uh, after my visual novel is done, I'm planning on making an RPG sequel, and Kaijeru will actually be the main character of that. An RPG sequel? Okay. Will it have visual <laughs> novel elements? Uh, I don't have too much planned yet. Uh, like, I've got somewhat of the story in my mind, but I'm leaving things open for now. Okay, that sounds really cool. I'd love to check that out. <laughs> hmm. RPG sequel, that's really cool. I'm going to make the sequel different. All right, <laughs> so let's go ahead I've been and do... wanting to... No, go ahead. Yeah, I was just saying, because I've wanted to make an RPG for a while, but uh, I should be able to... Okay. So we'll see uh, what the other ending is. Yep. We're going to leave and kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Be the evil person. Okay. Well, we're going to leave now. All right, guys. You see it here. This is the second ending. Pay close attention. I'm leaving. I have to. There's no other way around it. I've already wasted one year in this stupid place. I can't keep doing this. I don't want to be stuck here. So I'm taking matters into my own hands now. I'll leave and never look back. That's it, huh? Oh, great. Of course he followed me. Kajura walks up from the way I came. I can't read his expression, but that's nothing new. I'm not letting you stop me. I don't care what you say. I'm going. I don't care what happens. I just have to get away from here. This place is driving me insane. Are you sure? You know what's going to happen if you do. I know. But I've made up my mind, and there's no changing it now. That's a pretty selfish thing for you to do. Your decision affects more than you. You, don't, you realize that, right? Of course. I learned from you. I smile, hoping those words hurt him like he's hurt me. Judging by how he's gone quiet, I'm pretty sure I succeeded. It's the truth, after all. So if it hurts him, it's his own fault. I'm only following his example. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going now. I turn away from Kaijiro and start walking towards the portal. I thought I'd be nervous, afraid of what's going to happen, but instead, I feel apathetic. Maybe spending a year in this place really has changed me. Oh dear. What's gonna happen? Oh yeah, we all know what's gonna happen. When I arrive at the other side, I'm met with complete darkness. I remember the flashlights the two of us dropped just before we left, so I get on my hands and knees, feeling, the, feeling around the ground until I feel something metal. I feel around the object, making sure that what I'm holding is actually a flashlight before flicking the switch on. Despite how long it's been here, it still works. My heart races as it dawns on me what I'm doing, what's going to happen to me, how I'm going to be alone in my last moments of freedom. But it beats the alternative. I question what I should do, if I should even bother trying to find my way out of the cave. If I'm going to lose control of myself, maybe, 
I should just rest and try to enjoy however much time I have left. Well, there's nothing enjoyable about this, but I think maybe it beats the stress of navigating my way out in a race against time. As I shine my flashlight around, something catches my eye. It's Darren's gun. The one I was forced to use. Despite knowing I shouldn't, I pick it up. It feels comforting to hold. I'm not sure why, but it feels right. I shake my head and let out a whimper. I felt so confident just a couple minutes ago, but now... I'm afraid. I'm terrified of what's going to happen to me. Knowing there's nothing I can do about it now, I sit down with my back against the wall, hugging my knees. I'm scared. So scared. Ah! I get startled as I hear something plop down next to me. There should be nothing else here, right? As I shine my flashlight over, I met with something unexpected. Ted's sitting down next to me. His head tilted back as he stares up at the ceiling. T Ted? Saying that name feels so foreign to me now. I haven't said it in so long. The fox turns to me, a nervous look across his face. Hey. His voice is quiet, like he's struggling to force any sound to come out. Why did you follow me? You know what's going to happen. Oh. God. Man, what an image. I think I, think I found the thumbnail. Yeah. Ted leans on me, resting his head against mine. I know. Then, why... I didn't want you to be alone. You've you told, told me, me before. before oh, that... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, sorry. That's fine. You told me before that you wanted to stop being Colin to be someone new. You wanted to be Jeffrey. I'm tired of being Kajuru, so... Let's be Ted and Jeffrey again, one last time. I don't have any words. He's going to die. He knows it. After spending a year in isolation with him, he's the closest I have now. I don't want it to happen, but in some ways, I'm relieved that he's here. I'm glad I have someone I can spend these last moments with. Even though I know he's not really Ted, we can still pretend. I lean back against him, closing my eyes. We stay like this, unmoving in the comfort of one another. As the minutes pass by, I can feel my mind starting to slip. I tighten my grip on the gun as my willpower begins to fade. It's as if every ounce of me is pleading for me to aim and pull the trigger. I try to fight it as best I can. I don't want this moment to end. I want more time. My body starts to shake. I know I'm in a losing battle, but I want to hold on for as long as I can. Ted must notice because he grips onto me, nuzzling his face against my shoulder. He's shaking too. I can feel it. He's afraid. Realizing our time is almost up, I say three words I haven't had the chance to say in years that I thought I'd never get to say again. I love you. The... Yikes. And there's that ending. Jeez. Oh, not dispensing with the brutality. It's <laughs> all out in the open. Yep. Yep. I was expecting the Dark Souls screen to pop up. <laughs> you died. <laughs> so yeah, with the uh, this set of choices that you make, there pretty much is no good ending for them. So basically, it seems that anything involving Kaijora was a bad ending. Pretty much. There is a choice earlier on. Um, Rejection? When... Well, no, I was going to say, uh, when you get to the cave, like, shortly after you kill Caleb... Ted asks you to go with him into the cave, and you get an option to refuse. That's the ending that I'm currently working on that should be out in May. Oh, and okay. The, the best I can say, without giving away spoilers, is that it goes very differently. So, wait, if he killed Caleb, that means the curse passes on to him, doesn't it? Yes. Huh. Alright, interesting. Hmm. Wonder how that could play out differently. <laughs> Man, what a unfortunately, I, th I think you like overwritten your old save files, but fine. If you want to do a different route, then you can. Um, where is the skip function on your? Because your UI looks a little different. That's how I've been skipping around these VNs and getting to different routes. Uh, I just hold the control key, but there's, I think it's 
looks like a fast forward button with two arrows to the right. Oh, it's the control key. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, how many routes are there? Uh, in total, there's going to be about seven. Okay. So there's the rejection it's like route. There's, yeah, it's kind of like if you accept, it'll split into two routes. If you reject, it'll split into uh, five other routes. Ooh. And you're still riding those, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So if I get to the end of one of those routes, it'll let me know that they're still being worked on, right? Yes. Okay, good, good. So like how uh, other... Some of those routes... Yeah, some of those routes haven't been started yet. Yeah, because I like how uh, other VNs mm -hmm. will be like, hey, you've reached the end of this route. Yeah. Because I don't want to, like, trick people and be like, hey, uh, there's nothing more to this visual novel. Stop playing now. Yeah. <laughs> Stop playing this <laughs> game I worked so hard on. What are you people, weird? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I want I want to say that I have de I've very much enjoyed this visual novel you've made. I know my audience has as well. Like you've done some outstanding work. Is this the first one you've ever made? Uh, yeah. There's like there's obviously Echo Minus, which is a parody of Echo, which is the not the first thing I've worked on. There was there's two other visual novels that I kind of started on before but ended up scrapping. Uh, one was going to be a prequel to this. Uh, the other I can talk about in a second because we're about to get to the uh, epilogue. Okay. Oh, so this one has an epilogue as well. Yes. Sweet. Every okay. ending will have one. Oh, okay. All right. I've caused you so much pain, so much trauma. What I've done is unforgivable. I wanted so desperately to have someone I could keep. Someone I could finally hold on to. Was this Kaijiro talking? Yes. Oh, then maybe you should voice it. <laughs> I'm tired of running. I'm chasing a dream that can never be. I hope that one day, someone sets you free. That someone is able to heal what I could not. If that day should ever come, please let me stay with you forever in your memories. Oh, that's that's odd. I thought it the way he words that makes it sound like Jeffrey isn't dead. Oh, Jeffrey is not dead. What? He's possessed. No, it's Jeffrey shot Ted. Oh. It's oh the way I kind of made it is basically this was Hydra's last thoughts before he got shot. Oh, I thought that was I thought Jeffrey killed himself. No, is Jeffrey killed Ted? Oh damn. Damn, Jeffrey, you're crazy. <laughs> well, that's because he's now possessed. It's taken over him. He has no control over himself anymore. Oh, so he's just going to kill people. Uh, yeah. God, it's fucking... It'll be great. It'll be lots of fun, right? Oh, God, horrible ending. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck did I do? I chose the Grand Theft Auto style ending. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, no sugarcoating that. That was a bad ending. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so guys, we, we chose the, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? It's not Kaya. Mm. Oh, yeah, we chose we chose the chaotic, we chose the chaotic <laughs> evil ending. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey went full Ted Bundy, I guess. <laughs> oh, maybe not quite that extreme. <laughs> but, yeah, so, uh... Zerishro, thank you for uh, being on, I guess, my show. <laughs> thank Yes, thank you for yeah. being on my show on this late night segment. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the other segments of your game that you're going to release. I can't wait to see what all the other routes are. Uh, did you want to say anything to my audience? Uh, thank you all for watching and continue supporting uh, Drake Queen Gaming. Yep, and guys, continue to support Zerishro. Do you have a Patreon or anything? Uh, no. Oh, you might want to create a Patreon. I could see this being pretty lucrative for you. Probably. At the moment, I'm just kind of enjoying writing it. And I don't no. know. I feel like once people start paying for it, I feel like... Expectations, oh, I yeah. Oh. Expectations. Yeah. Yep, yep, I got you. Perfectly understandable. But yeah, if you're just doing this for fun... Hey, also, you do kind of get tips from itch.io, don't you? Uh, I also have that disabled. Aren't I smart? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Hey guys, it's free! <laughs> yeah! Hooray! Yep, it's free! You don't have to pirate it, it's free! 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you for being here with me. I want to just, like, this is awesome. Thank you for being with, uh, voicing these horrifying endings with me. I'm sure my audience will suffer so much trauma in the coming days. <laughs> uh-huh. and I can't wait to read the uh, comments. I know. People are going to be like, why did you do this? My precious <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> uh-huh. But anyway, thank you so much for being here, uh, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.